What's up everybody, Ryan Turford, the man on the moose here, and today we have a very special unboxing, the first of many unboxings on this channel over the next couple months, uh, because we're doing starting a new little mini-series this week with Retro Game Treasure, so if you're not familiar with what Retro Game Treasure is, or if you're not familiar with, you know, the concept of something like this, this is a monthly retro gaming subscription service where basically you give them money every month, they send you a box like this in the mail with three to five games in it from the consoles of your choice, um, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, you usually will get um, games that you don't own because you have a list that you can populate of all the games that you already own so they don't send you duplicates. Also, they add any games that they send you to your list automatically so you don't have to go in and add them later, which is a nice you know, quality of life feature that they offer. Um, they also allow you to select the, the consoles that you want games for, that you're collecting for, and also they ask you a bunch of different questions such as you know what, what quality of the games that you're, you're kind of looking for, uh, whether if you're a new collector and you kind of want to just get all the games possible, regardless of, uh, you know, the quality of the case and stuff like that. Like, I think it's actually a really cool service. So we're going to try this for a couple months. Now, this uh, from you can tell from the title of this video, uh, this is March 2023's box. I've been sitting on this for a little while. And the main reason why I actually didn't do kind of an unboxing of this earlier was because I wanted to try something a little bit different. So on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Ryan Turford, I've actually done Retro Game Treasure and Video Games Monthly, which is another subscription service that offers something similar before um, over there. And what I would usually do is just open the box and kind of talk about my thoughts about the games that are there without playing them. But I wanted to take the opportunity with uh, this time around to actually take some time, play the games that are in this box and kind of give you a review of the games in here, because I think it's more important to talk about the games themselves rather than talking about, you know, things like the financial value or um, just giving kind of random impressions out of the box. So I think this is going to be a little bit more effective. So it's going to be coming a little bit later um, that you're probably going to be seeing other people putting out retro game treasure unboxing videos. Um, but I think it's going to be totally worth it. And the best part is you don't have to wait very long for the next Retro Game Treasure unboxing, because I actually have April's box already, um, and I'm going to be giving my my thoughts on it next week. So you can actually look forward to another Retro Game Treasure video on the channel next week. And then, of course, the the, the next one will be towards the end of the month. And we're going to be trying this for a little while. So let me know in the comments below if this is something you want to see more of. Please let me know, because I will continue doing it as long as people keep watching it or are actually interested in, you know, seeing me tackle some of these. Well, without further ado, let's crack this box open and take a look at the games that are inside. We're going to start today with Dragon Quest. Oh, no, no, sorry. Dragon Warrior on the NES. Oh man, listen to that Dragon Quest theme song in glorious NES fashion. Um, this is a game I have played before. In fact, this is the uh, only game in this box that um, is actually a duplicate of a game I already have. The nice thing about it, though, is that even though um, this was actually sent out before I was able to update my list, so that's why I received a duplicate in the first place, um, I my copy of Dragon Quest, what isn't working, the one I had before, it just had stopped working, you know, maybe six months ago. So I'm actually glad that I have a replacement because this one actually works and uh, it's a pretty fun game. I mean, it is, it's just Dragon Quest. Like, what do you say about Dragon Quest at this point that hasn't been said? It's a very, very traditional turn-based role-playing game. Um, it's still really fun. I do still think this is a good game to go back to today. Um, but it is one of those things where, um, you know, I think that the better Dragon Quest games are the later you know, Dragon Quest games on the NES or, you know, the more modern Dragon Quest games. Um, but I'm also not someone who's like super into Dragon Quest as a series. Um, but I do think that the NES game, pretty fun to go back to. And it was definitely fun to, to revisit it during this review session. Next up on the NES, we got Mission Impossible. <laughs> So I know you're probably thinking, where's Tom Cruise? Why is Tom Cruise not Mission Impossible on the NES? Well, actually, Mission Impossible on the NES is actually a game that was based off the TV show 
Mission Impossible, not the movies Mission Impossible, because they hadn't actually come out yet um, by the time that this, you know, this game released. In fact, it wasn't until the N64 that we finally got that, you know, Mission Impossible licensed game, you know, based off the movies. Um, but this game was a ton of fun. I have never played it before. This is from Konami, so you would actually expect that. You know, Konami back in their heyday on the NES, um, they did a fantastic job with this game. It's a top down game where you're going into, you know, different bars or buildings and you're trying to, you know, get information and clues to kind of find the whereabouts of, you know, these these terrorists that have set bombs throughout the city. Um, and then you're going into the sewer system and fighting the terrorists and, you know, disabling the bombs and stuff like that. And you have different missions. Uh, of course, I'm just only describing the first mission. Um, this game Really hard, but I liked the idea of being able to switch between three different characters on the fly. The music's fantastic in this game, as you'd, again, expect from a Konami NES game. Um, the, the visuals look really good still. Like, I had a blast playing Mission Impossible on the NES. Like, it's a game that I just never thought to pick up before, um, and I, I think it's a ton of fun. So I'm actually glad I had a chance to check it out for the first time with this box. And last up, we got Wizards and Warriors. Also on the NES, again, like in the trifecta of NES games this month. So Wizards and Warriors from Rare, this is a game that I also hadn't played before, believe it or not. Um, I have, I always had like Wizards and Warriors 2 Iron Sword as a kid, and my brother Kyle and I played that a lot, um, but I never had the original Wizards and Warriors, so it's my, this was my first time playing it, and again, just, this w game was really awesome, a ton of fun, again, I've heard people talk a lot about Wizards and Warriors over the years, and talk about how it's, it's a really good game, and it, it did not disappoint, it was actually very fun, I loved get the exploration aspect, where, you know, kind of in the first stage, you're exploring these different trees, and you're going inside the trees themselves, and you're, you're scaling the trees to, to the, the, the top of the tree, and you're also unlocking upgrades for your character, along the way, there's some fantastic Fantastic visuals and music in this game. Um, and yeah, again, a another game that I'm so happy I got to play for the first time thanks to a box like this one. Because again, it's just one of those things where, you know, games like Mission Impossible or um, Wizards and Warriors are games that are kind of, I've heard people talk about before and say good things about, but I never would have personally thought to pick them up off of the shelf and go and go play them um, or even just, you know, pick them. I see them in the aisle of my retro game store all the time, but I never thought to pick them up for myself. But now that I got them in this box and, you know, kind of forced myself to sit down and play them, honestly, I had a great time with this game, but also just all three of these games. So even though, you know, some might argue, and I'm already sensing this comment coming already, the financial value didn't meet what I paid for the box. It was, you know, about five or $10 less. I actually think the curation of these three games in particular was fantastic. And honestly, like all three of these games are, are quality games and I'm actually very happy to receive them. The only downside I would say from this month's box is I almost wish that I had like a variety of different games, like as far as platforms are concerned, because um, I do have PS PS1 and Super Nintendo checked off and it was only all NES games, which again, I'm not going to argue with too much because I actually love the NES. It is probably my favorite console of all time, um, but it is just one of those things where I would have just loved a little more variety this month. But what do you think about my retro game treasure unboxing for this month and review? Um, and, and let me know in the comments below if you played any of these games, if you liked any of them. Also, again, if you want to see me do more of this kind of thing, I would love to hear from you. Or if this is something you don't want to see us do, again, let us know that feedback as well, because I, I would love your feedback on this, whether it's in the comments of this video or if you hit me up in the Discord, the, the Carpool Gaming Discord, which, by the way, it's free to join. The link is in the description of this video. If you haven't joined up with us already, we're talking about all kinds of crazy games over on the Carpool Gaming Discord. So you definitely want to come join our amazing community. You can find me on Twitter at Ryan Turford. You can also find us on Twitter at Carpool Gaming. We're also right here, youtube.com slash Carpool Gaming. And of course, www.carpoolgaming, our brand new website, which actually um, ha houses all of our content as well. You can head on over there and check us out there as well. All right, that's going to do it for March 2023's Retro Game Treasure Unboxing. I'm Ryan Turford, and I'm out.